Welcome back to the Division 2. I've just finished watching State of the Game, and I hate to break it to those of you that always say I'm a negative Nancy. This is another rant, so if you don't want to hear it, click off and watch the next Division 2 video, because that's going to be a little bit more positive. But just quickly, before we jump into this recap... I have a goal to reach 100k subs by the end of 2020 and a lot of you are not subscribed to the channel so head down to below the video, press the sub button, turn on notifications for when YouTube can be bothered to send them out and share the video with your friends, family and pets. There's also a join button if you want to show extra support with perks including 10% off all my merch. Link is below for that too. Thank you, I will see you soon. Enjoy the video. So, I'm going to start off with Title Update 10. It's releasing next Tuesday, June the 16th. Season 2 starts a week later, June the 23rd. The PTS server's closed today, so if you're playing the PTS, or you was, and you're wanting to jump back on, you can't do that, they're closed now. That is it until next Tuesday. So then, we have something. There were, like, video clips coming from different developers saying, oh, hi, my name's this, I work on this in the game. Uh, blah, 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 move on. Yannick eventually went on to say or someone said on this stream raid is available so the second raid operation iron horse is available early july for all level 40 players didn't mention level 30 players but there's a few more things that were mentioned and this one's only going to be short there really wasn't a lot they were too focused on the cosplayers and then merging clips together for four minutes 20 and hamish is like this is cosplay on crack and he said, oh, it's 4 minutes 20, bang on, so go blaze it, and we're going to sit there and enjoy... It's chatting shit. I, I really can't... I can't stand Hamish anymore. He, he was sitting there doing audio tests, and then still started the stream with his fucking mics muted. But anyway, Yannick said that the raid's available early July for all level 40 players. Didn't mention level 30 players, and stated early July. We then moved on, literally after the video had finished, where Yannick had stated all these release dates and stuff, Hamish then goes and says to Johan and Yannick to fight over revealing the TU10 release date and Yannick has to point out twice in this stream not once but twice has to point out that these release dates have already been revealed but not only did Yannick reveal them it says at the bottom of the screen in the little like headline thing where it tells you important stuff about what's going on it already said TU10 starts June 16th season 2 starts June 23rd Hamish just wasn't paying attention to anything anyone else was doing and just a little bit of a heads up season 1 ends the same day TU10 drops so next Tuesday June 16th season 1 will end they are going to have a one week downtime so season 2 will begin June 23rd but don't worry if you don't manage to get on even though you've had three months to do this stuff don't worry if you can't get on and get that emp sticky bomb because you will at some point during season two be able to unlock and replay the final manhunt mission so that you get that emp sticky bomb because as if three months wasn't long enough if you haven't managed to do that in three months then i'm sorry no participation awards you don't deserve it if you haven't managed to get that in three months Bearing in mind, yes, the manhunts did unlock at different stages, but this final manhunt has been out for a good week or two, and if you haven't managed to get on, then you don't deserve it. You don't deserve this EMP sticky bomb. If you haven't put the time in to get it, then you don't deserve it. That That's just straight up. You've had long enough. But the devs have decided participation awards are accepted in this game, and you'll be able to go get it at some point during Season 2. Everything in this stream was a fuck-up. The Regulus was shown to be in the general loop pool, but it is not in the general loophole it is a raid exclusive and then going back to the raid the second raid operation iron horse early july isn't a set date as we found out further in the stream it's just titled coming soon although this image we got to see does mention level 30 and level 40 players so i don't know what's happening with the raid they are not being clear about anything related to this raid they will however make a comeback for worlds first that is like there's going to be some sort of a celebration to celebrate the first people in the world that are completing it but guess what it's another thing where you need to have a team because they are not featuring matchmaking in the second raid. There is already a small amount of players that are willing to play this because the raids are so difficult, and that's always the case in a game that features raids. Like, 95% of the player base are probably never going to do it, but that tiny amount of players that are left to do this raid have to go and find their own means of getting a team, because there's not a simple matchmaking function. When the developers clearly stated when the game first launched, every activity in the game will feature matchmaking. 
matchmaking. What did they do when people kicked off about it? We have a new discovery raid. Well, bollocks. They're not doing any of it. There is no matchmaking for the second raid. You literally have to find your own team and then go in there. And then to wrap it all up, I don't understand why they are doing this shit. Like, if they do lock it so that you have to be a Warlords player to play this raid, then that is not fair. Because it does stay on the image level 30 players, but Yannick said for level 40 only. So they might do it to where if you're level 40 and you own Warlords, you get access to it like a week early. And that is wrong if anything like that happens. Because this second raid was announced during E3 2019. That is a year ago. They said it will release in fall 2019. That is still part of year one. This should have been a raid coming into the game at some point in 2019. Still part of the year one content. Still free for everyone. So if they do anything to gate it behind paywalls, then it's not on. It's not fair because another thing they have done, and I've only just been made aware of this because of this stream today, season two, so every piece of content that comes into this fucking game, it's not even actual content, you get like the leagues, you get the manhunt stuff, you get the bloody global events that suck dick, there's pretty much nothing else to it, like that's pretty much all you get, just a, a new event weekly that just keeps you playing the same stuff over and over again, guess what, you have to be an owner of the warlords bloody expansion that is £25 to get access to this. If you do not own the expansion, you do not get to play the seasonal content. They have stated so many times that the seasons are free to everyone, but they're not. If you don't own Warlords, you don't get the seasons. So what is there to play in this game for people that don't own Warlords? There is nothing you have to pay to continue playing this game. It's just a load of bollocks. Because they state that all of these seasons are free, but they're not. You're having to pay for the expansion to play the stuff that's involved. And I'm not going to keep saying this. I've said it so many times. Release some actual content. Survival, underground, whatever modes were in Division 1, release them. Fuck your stupid raid off that nobody's going to play and release some actual new missions. Even though the year one pass was an absolute shambles, I would rather have that than what we have now because there was actual new content coming into this game. But that's me done ranting. I can't be bothered to carry on. There's so much stuff I could talk about with this game. It's just, just a money grab. That's all it is. I will continue playing it because I'm literally just ranting about the state of the game and then I'm going to go off, I'm going to play the game and ignore all that bollocks again. That's what I plan to do. Just ignore all their state of the game rubbish. I will rant about it at the time to let you guys know that they are trying to mug everyone off. But other than that, I will play the game. I will stick to being calm, like not ranting about actually playing the game. I mean, unless a bug does come along and wind me up, then I will rant about it. But that's going to do it for this one. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope and pray that next week's state of the game is better than this week. It was so focused on all these different companies and cosplayers and stuff. Oh, look, the Division 2 is amazing. Fuck off. Oh, and by the way, thank you for watching.